My name is Terry Haste. I'm a tailor in London. The problem I'm having with my knee at the moment is the bending down. My job is a tailor's cutter, so I'm standing up all day and the bending down measuring really hurts my leg. So I'm here today to have a partial knee replacement. The lower half of my knee is going to be replaced. Mr. Geekus was in the shop ordering a suit and I was in severe pain. Then he asked me to come and he'll check it over. And that's when we worked out what the problem was. My name is Panos Gigas. I am a consultant orthopedic surgeon at the Royal National Orthopedic Hospital. As a result of years of overuse of his knees, he developed what we call medial compartment arthritis. The inner half of his knee joint had quite significant damage to his cartilage. The decision was made to proceed to what we call a unicompartmental knee replacement. This is effectively a technique whereby we replace half of the knee joint, preserving the parts of the knee joint that are not damaged and simply replacing the part of the knee joint where the cartilage is damaged. Mr. Geeker showed me the actual knee implant that we were going to be using and the scans of my knees. And then we had several scans done afterwards to get the exact position of the knee where he was going to put the knee in because he said he was going to use a robot. Here at Stanmore, we are very proud because we have recently acquired the new Striker Meco robot. This is a fantastic new technology that allows precise placement of orthopedic implants at the time of joint replacement surgery. What happens with the MAKO robotic technology is that the patient has a CT scan prior to surgery. The anatomical information from the CT scan is incorporated into the robotic software. The robotic arm, which you can see here on my left, is used at the time of the operation to do precise bone cuts and therefore allowing very precise placement of the orthopedic implants at the time of the operation. The aim of this technology by allowing, allowing almost perfect placement of the orthopedic implants specific to the anatomy of the individual patient is for the patient postoperatively to have faster recovery and better function in the long term. After the surgery, I was very, very surprised that I could get up literally the very next morning and I was doing physio that day. Two days after surgery, I went home obviously on crutches. I was expecting it to be very, very painful and very, very uncomfortable. And yes, it is very uncomfortable. There's no two ways about that, but I really, in all fairness, I didn't get any pain at all. The healing process has been absolutely brilliant. And my physio can't believe how quick I've healed from the operation. The stitches came out after a couple of weeks and is a very small mark now, and it's made a tremendous difference. As a tailor, measurements are very, very important to us. We start with a plain sheet of paper, we use various tools of the trade. This is probably the most important part of all the measurements we take. And this gives us a precise, accurate measurement for everything. Things like this will give me armhole depth, but it's very, very important measurements, as in the same thing with surgeons. They, you know, measurements to them, especially if now they're using robots to do the work. The measurements are very, very important. 